Hey guys, uh, okay, you got, this is Bill's scope. You have a 16 inch F3.5, right? Yeah, or seven. I can never remember. Three, <laughs> whatever, look how short it is. I no, mean, the, the I'm five foot cheap. nine and. The scope isn't short, I'm actually tall for my age. <laughs> it's just a big difference. I want to introduce you to my personal yak. Yeah, Ernie. Yeah, Ernie's over here from uh, Yakistan. I, I, I take care of the camels. I pack, I pack the camels. I don't think Ralph needs any introduction, but... Hey everybody, I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> and it well. Is, it is Ralph. Ralph's my uh, personal protector and uh, guide, and um, my wife wouldn't let me come here without him, so... Oh. <laughs> And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna load my 3D gizmo in tonight, and these guys will check it out. And Bill's been nice enough and interested enough to have it in his scope for just a little while. He's got a lot of eyepieces he wants to try out. So when it gets dark, I'll come on back and uh, we'll see what you guys think of it. Okay. You know, we'll load it in. Just be honest. Just say whatever you think, and uh, I can take it. Do is use any curse words to describe it in the beginning. <laughs> I wish I could bleep instance, them out. We're not going to say. <laughs> well, I don't my know. My favorite object in the whole universe is M22 in Sagittarius. The okay. globular. See, no, so I'd really like to see that. We'll do M22. Okay. Really yeah, we'll do M22. Yeah, because we got a great view of M22 last night. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. 13 might look better. To um, 92, 13 in the swan. Okay. Okay. I think M8. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, Thank guys. You thanks. Very much. Good. Yeah. Thanks. Later. It's always a pleasure. Fading out. Fading. Mainly going to be sound. <laughs> oh yeah. It really does have a three-dimensional effect to it. It sort of stands out in front of the background stars. It looks like, wow. It really looks like it jumps out at you. That is very cool. <laughs> but this is, and the more you look at it, the more you appreciate it. But you can't see any unnatural sphere. I mean, when you look at it, it really does jump out at you as having three-dimensionality. That is kind of cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah? Yeah, that almost, you know, it's funny, it almost makes it look like a lagoon, you know, it's kind of hard to explain. It. Yeah, it definitely looks better than the, the usual flat view, I'll give you that. But, wow, that, that looks great. I just, it almost looks like the owl, you know, with the two. This is, this is the longest you've ever looked at through the eyepiece. Yes, right. Fantastic. I think you got a winner here. Oh man. Yeah. Because you can focus on one part of it and it looks like a globule and then I look a little bit deeper and it looks like almost like a galaxy M51. Yeah, I'm, I'm see, you know, and it's getting bigger and bigger as it's, uh, it's getting darker. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing more of the sphere. It's, yeah. Hey, that's great. That's great. Okay. You got a winner there. Yeah. I feel like a little kid again. But you're right. If you look around, you see stars. Some look like they're foreground stars. Some look like they're background stars. But the globular looks round. I'm sorry. It really does look round. And it looks. It looks like it has depth to it. That's one of the most interesting things I've seen through a telescope. Oh my God. OMG. Beam me up. <laughs> this is beautiful. I mean... Uh... So do you like it? Yeah, I, uh, Ernie? I certainly do. How can you not like it? And the, uh... It's a new experience, Yes, right? it is. No question about it. That's uh, a work of art. Yeah, I can do it with galaxies. And well, thank you. That's I appreciate. It's really, that. Uh, it's it's amazing. Well, I can definitely see the three dimensionality of it. Yeah, no kidding. I'm 22.
We were just looking at 22 a minute ago. Yeah, that's my favorite in the whole. That's universe. where we're gonna go next. There we go. Snaps 22. right out. Now, if you want, if you want to see me move it to the distance, right where it is in about one second, I'll show you how easy it is to do. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, let me turn on the light. Uh -huh. um, I'm sorry. You know, watch your eyes. Uh -huh. This is a little bright. There's a bubble underneath mm -hmm. that says N. I'm going to move it to the far position. Hey, where's your bubble? Sorry, right there. here. Right here. There's a bubble okay. right on okay. the top. Uh -huh. It was right on the bottom. Now it's on the top. Okay. And uh, have a look at it now. Okay. So you it should be, the view? Yeah. It should be in the distance now. Oh, yes, it is. It's moved back quite a ways. It's really interesting. <laughs> it's just... It's, yeah. It's really, it's back there. Oh, that's interesting. That's got to be one of the nicest views of M17 I have ever seen in my entire life. It stands out. It, 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 it absolutely jumps out. It's really interesting. Because normally it looks like it's just part of the star field. And now it looks like it's separate from the star field. What a nice view. What a lovely view. Wow. That's one of the nicest. It separates it from the stars. So it gives you a sense that it's floating as opposed to just embedded in it. It's really different. I want to tighten up the focus. Oh, that is really... That's spectacular. You know, when you do amateur astronomy, there are certain images you always remember in your head. Mm -hmm. The first, the best time you ever saw M whatever, or 891, um, what particular night it was, where you were. This is going to be go down as the best swan I've ever seen. Ralph, come here, look at this thing. This is just spectacular. This is the swan. Now if I keep my pants from falling down. <laughs> Dinner coming, swan. No, it's that big dust lane, look at that. The neck, how clear the neck is. Yes, wow. I don't know about a swan, though. It looks more like a mallard. <laughs> yeah, Actually, I think you're right. It does look more like a mallard. That's fantastic, though. It really is. Just one. The stars, too, look three-dimensional. It is pretty cool. It's a revelation. You know, it's like some sort of a mobile you hang from your, the child's ceiling. Huh. Mm -hmm. You know, different depths, different... Uh, it's, it's really, uh, I think it's a breakthrough. And these two guys are really seasoned astronomers. Yeah, four. And I gotta tell you something, I, I, so I'm looking at stuff and I call out to these two guys. Yeah. And they creak and they get up and they come over and they look through the eyepiece and they go, oh yeah, that's really cool. And then they get up and they go back and sit down again. Mm -hmm. But they don't linger. And now they're lingering. They're lingering, yeah. Now I'm gonna linger. So you looked at M22, what did you think? Uh, it's the best I've ever seen it, I'll, I'll give you that. And, uh, In 30, I, 30 I really years. could see the spherical, you know, like I could see the stars wrap around the sides. Nice. Better than an M13. Uh, well, I'm prejudiced because I really like M22 the best. But that's great. You've got a really black background and... Uh, well, Pinpoint the, star images. Let's get the scope of the It's not. Okay, so where are we going? Let's go to the lagoon. Let's 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 all M check out the lagoon. M eight. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I wish you luck. I hope you do well. I you know. I think it's uh, you've been viewing for how many years? Thirty. Thirty, and that's the best you've ever seen M twenty two. Yeah, in any scope. And it's and it's your favorite object. One uh, of them. Yes, it, it is my favorite object. I say this is one of the nicest views of the lagoon I've ever seen. I mean, the dust lane is absolutely sharp. I mean, really clearly delineated. There's just no question about it. And the stars in the dust lane.
It's hard to give up the view. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to give up the view. I, I, I'm really surprised. It's just a view of this object that you've never seen before. I, I mean, the, the, it, it appears that the, that the gas is, you know, closer, you know, to your uh, a viewing a point of view. In the dust lanes, you could see the depth in the dust lanes, which is something you don't see with a regular eyepiece. It's, uh, it's really pretty darn unique. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to go back and take You know what's nice? When you get to the edge of it, you actually see stars along the edge that, that are further back that, that really accentuate that, that 3D view. because it's, 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 it's so neat because you actually see the depth of the dust line. Okay, let's see. Before on. Yeah, no, it, it's perfect. And I can, oh man, I can see the dust lines beautifully. The ones on the left yeah, at 10 and 11 o'clock. I've never seen them like that before, never. Oh, let's go, ah, oh, yeah. Mm. Goes, it takes up the whole 65 degrees. It's really cool, right? Yeah, it, it, I'm not too sure. It looks a little less flat, but there's a tremendous more amount of contrast in yeah, there. Yeah, the contrast is really interesting. It's beautiful. Yeah. You can actually, like the Bernard, you know, I could just see swirls of black. It looks, it's, and the stars are nice on the edges. There's no seagulls in there. My voice sounds different to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow, great, thank you. Okay, well, that, that sounded like you. <laughs> yes. All right, let me take another. I want to center the lagoon in this. Okay. Yeah. Gee, and I thought you guys were going to kick room. me out in a couple of minutes. We were. <laughs> we, <laughs> you, we should have played. <laughs> I know, you were probably thinking, what is this guy going to come over here and bug us with? No, this is okay. This is, uh, you're doing us a favor. Oh, no. You're making no. it interesting. Yeah, when you center it, actually, areas of the nebulosity look fluffy. It doesn't detract from anything. No. It's a refractor-like view. It really is. I, I wouldn't exactly put it with my F8 AP, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's sure as hell great for a Newtonian. Yeah, I mean, this is a 3.5, right? Yeah, that's what we want, you know? Okay, so put the O3 filter in. Um, I think we have some clouds. Huh? Such a deal. Guess what? Such a deal. Guess what? We're clouded out.